Hi everyone and welcome to Game Club and today we'll be reviewing Keevan Davis and Vivian Swartz's board games to create and play. Now this isn't strictly a board game but it's a great book about making board games for kids. So join us as we review. So I guess to do the unboxing will be basically to do the reading of the book and firstly if we open it up here we can see that we've got an introductory page obviously with board games to create and play. We've got this lovely uh, little packet thing here to keep the games in once they're done and then if we go through we see we've got a whole list of board games here as well as a series of introductions to tell you how the game works or how the book works should I say um, and then they've got the outline of some of the maps you've got on here where you can see these sort of different boards that you can play with different setups where there's sort of circular boards or what effectively is a first past the post type boards or you've got games a little bit more I guess would be uh, user intensive and slightly more uh, flexible they have you have normally this this kind of slightly penned on one which then goes on to a one, a one that's a bit more blank you can remove these pages as well from the book as well which is very useful and you have some interesting a whole sheet of them here as well as double-sided ones later on in the book and then you get to this wonderful thing here which is it's, uh, basically explains in more detail how to deal with the, the rules how to come up with the games themselves where it tells you about your first games including some scribbling on the squares where it kind of outlines a simple game and then it goes through into more complex games and what sort of additional components you have and then I like this element here where it gives you sort of inspirations on how some games might work for certain age groups and also some ideas for some games as well that are quite good. Tokens, dice cards and then some of the ideas of co-op games which I'm a fan of obviously and then you've got some of marker games as well as some type of experience games like non-player pawn games and Treacherous Traitors which is quite interesting as well. Anyway there's a whole host of stuff in here and it's quite it's quite interesting. Some tokens at the back as well which is quite useful if you want to um, really sort of get the components all together without having to go elsewhere and then there's a little sort of breakdown of who the people are Vivian Schwartz and Keevan Davis. So join me as I review board games to create and play. So for the review of board games to create and play, I think it's only fair to really highlight uh, the strengths and weaknesses of it, of this particular game book, game book thing, I guess I would call it. So firstly, the book itself is, uh, introduction wise, it's very easy to go, sort of go through as an adult. Um, I think it's slightly more difficult as a child, but I think that I would say from about seven, eight onwards they should or a child should be able to grasp what it's kind of saying especially with the breakdown at the start but the more comprehensive breakdown at the end is far more user friendly actually and it allows people to step by step build a game uh, especially with it suggesting the particular maps to use which is very good and then explaining how the map could be broken down and how the map could be engaged with by the the person designing the game um, the artwork in it is is quite fun it's it's quite ex sort of expressive and i like that because that means that kids will enjoy that as well and I, I do think this game is very much targeted for children although i would also say young adults or people with an interest in board game design and board game creation would certainly benefit from reading this because it does go through some of the the classic fails that you get if you don't design a game well and everyone has always wanted or lots of people have always tried to design a game and been interested in board games but also what it does is it allows you to understand how games work in the structure of things because the rule section here is very good at pointing out for instance here dice games burning fuel so games where you're using a resource action cards which is always fun money games money 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 games invisible players 
uh, and then of course you've got running fights and stuff but there's a lot of really well detailed stuff here that might not originally at the start the first time you use the book become as essential and as interesting and as useful as it would appear when you play when you've used it five six seven eight nine ten ten times uh, this theme generator here also is quite beneficial because it allows you to come up with new ideas sometimes however I think most people have got their ideas just sitting boiling away and that's where this section with all these little rules and stuff will help and then these really useful helpful hints as well as these little components here which will allow you to cut out stuff and create cards which I think kids will love especially when it's holiday time they will have something really engaging to do this said there is a problem where you don't get enough of the content inside so you will probably find that sometimes kids will play with it and will run out of resources because they'll want to do things either perfect, perfectly or they'll be like oh I want to try this oh that doesn't work on that map maybe I should try on another map and so you end up with I mean if you look here for instance the very first one you've got three maps of it and I think that may not be enough the other fault I'd have with it as well is that the games sometimes become slightly repetitive because of the nature of what they're trying to establish is uh, an interest in building and designing a game so sometimes you have to go basically route learning you have to keep repeating the same thing again and again and again and some people will find that slightly irritating however it's small there's very minimal sort of complaints overall I think the game is very good I think the book is very good as well and I think that overall this is the sort of book slash game slash just informational product that will be ideal for probably most game fans. So if you get a chance, board games to create and play, well worth getting for kids and also for adults too.